Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome to Project Hospital. This is a new game. It is going to be out, let me see here, Tuesday the 30th of October 2018 at 9 a.m. PDT. It is, well the game is by Oxymoron Games and it's pretty fun. It's a clever and very detailed uh, sort of hospital simulation game. So we're going to do Sandbox. I could do a campaign, but they've kind of warned me that the campaign is uh, still a little bit in uh, polish mode. So we're going to have a, a large empty field and we're going to start building our hospital. Now, unlike other games like Theme Hospital and so on and so forth, uh, this is a bit more serious, a bit more serious business going on. And so it does blend quite a lot of tycoon elements with other sorts of elements. So, um, yeah, with sort of simulation and base builder -y or builder elements. Okay, so here's what we've got. Uh, and so what we're going to need to do is build all of these kind of departments, um, which is going to be a bit of a challenge. And the first thing we're going to have to do is uh, just pause the game, I think and then start building so we can choose where to build and i think well it's pretty obvious we've got a car park here so it would make sense to uh do some uh, outside stuff to do some car park bits and bobs um what could we put on the ground here we've got asphalt ground hazard pedestrian crossing no I wouldn't mind a little bit of like pavement. Yeah, just some pavement around the edges here, I think would be quite good to start with. Uh, and likewise, all the way here. Uh, and I think that will be a. Uh... You no, know, you know, I kind of like the little strip of grass there, but never mind. So we'll go with the we'll go with the pavement like that, which is good. And now what we need to do is lay out sort of our clinics and stuff. So an ambulance, we don't have any chance of really building an ambulance elevators we're not going to worry about or well, not not yet anyway not for ambulance yet so let's look at foundations um i'm going to try for see that's already going to be twenty thousand dollars sixteen thousand we'll go edge to edge 13 by 21 uh that kind of bugs me <sighs> Okay, just let's, uh, that's terrible. All right, so let's do something like this. I was trying to just be a little bit more sensible about size 10 by, I don't know, 10 by 19. Um, okay, okay, I will just, uh, just, Tiny Pirate, stop messing around here. Get this right. Ooh, this cute grass. I can make this little grassy patch come back to me. There we go. Little grassy patch. Come back. Uh, concrete pavement. Uh, that's what I wanted. There we go. I found what I was looking for. Can I get a pavement in there? Yeah, I sort of can. So what we're going to do now is throw down some uh, walls. And I think I'm just going to just put down a large wall like that. So we'll keep the walls relatively simple for now. And now what I need to look at is building out rooms. Now, if I want to, I can just lay out uh, prefabs and what have you, but I think I'm going to do it, do it myself. So you guys see what's required. So hospitalization rooms that can tell me here what I, what I'm looking for. Am I building an emergency uh, facility? I'm not sure. I think here, so I've got this insurance company and they can tell me, what to put together so for the uninsured i can just treat 10 patients cheapo care it's going to send 10 uh, enable disabled accepting patients not yet a general surgery and a department clinic so those might be a little bit later on so we're going to open just a very basic clinic right now uh, here's our rooms so we're going to lay down i think white floor seems sensible yep Nice and nice and clean. Uh, doors, I sort of feel inclined for a double sliding door. Yeah, we're just gonna put it uh, about the middle, something like that. And now what we need is a waiting room. So we can see here with emergency, we have a waiting room. 
I will probably not make it too big. Something like that, 5 by 10 would seem good. So you can see I can sort of specify where things might go. A restroom here would make sense. That's fine. And then I can put a doctor's offices. Now, how big do they have to be? I need a doc. Definitely need a doctor's office. Got the restroom, waiting room, uh, doctor's corridor. Uh, need a common room, a cleaning closet, and other bits and bobs. So, our reception, our reception, I think, can just go one, two, three. How big does it need to be? It needs to be that big. And we'll have a corridors that go like this. The one goes this way. And one goes this way. And uh, we might be able to get away with quite a small cleaning closet. We'll put a corridor around the back way here. Um, a common room. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Do we need that? A doctor's office. We absolutely do. What's the size requirement for doctors? Four by four. So what is this? That space is a seven by six. So we can do, uh, it's not quite big enough. I wonder if we could just do it this slightly smaller. Four by six. So we get two doctor's offices in here. Um, I think we'll go with four by or five by five over here. And we've got the cleaning closet. What is that? A stat lab? Yes. Uh, oh, it needs to be that big. And a common room. Will it be... Will that be okay? I just want to check this doctor's office. Is it going to be too small? Nope, that's fine. Okay, so as you can see, these are how the rooms are going to be laid out. And now what we need to do is give them a bunch of stuff. We also should give them walls and bits and bobs, but we'll worry about that later. So the basic stuff uh, we can put in an informational TV. Um, and I can write stuff, rotate stuff around, which is good. And I think we'll put a vending machine and a water machine there. And um, uh, you should we fit? Can we fit another one in? Maybe two vending machines. Cool. And now we should have some benches. Uh, that's going to be the toilet. So I'm thinking just along the wall here would be good. Uh, and then facing these two chairs uh, and something like that. Um, we'll do another one over here like that. Should be okay. So these are the things that they absolutely need in this facility. So a ticket machine. We've got the info TV. Uh, and so we've got the ticket machine. So stuff in yellow was very important. That seems about right. So now we need the... Uh, this wonderful system, the reception. So what we're going to do is put the reception desk along here. And then we've got a, a cute little reception desk middle. Um, so reception desk can go there. I will, I think I'll start to throw in some walls as well. So I can start dividing up this place. And of course I can raise and lower the walls as I see fit. But for now, I'm going to leave them alone and just spec out the shape of this facility before I forget and uh, don't end up with everything looking right. Because looking right is very important, isn't it? So we need a door. So I think we'll just have a not restricted area. Now we'll just have a door here like this for the reception. Maybe one on each side. And reception also needs a PC. Oh, I think I've kind of slightly messed this one up, actually. I think reception is where not only the uh, nurses and so on wait, but other people will wait too. So let me get... I've got other options under the reception here. Um, we should have a couple of PCs for the nurses. I'll put in a bench and we'll see if everything goes completely weird. A stool in front of these computers seems to work and help that. How, uh, bleh. Use your words. Seems to help out the room. So we'll go with that. I oh, will put down a little uh, filing cabinet, bits and bobs, and a printer. 
Okay, so that's looking fine. Is it telling me anything that's terrible about the place? Um, no, they're still happy. I may need to slightly jiggle this around so that the reception blends into the waiting room because waiting rooms can be where people go to wait for their next treatment and the reception is where they're first greeted in, into the building or welcome to the building. So we lay these out like this and we give them a wall um, like this and then we put a door in every cubicle. They will happily use the bathroom without any doors, but to be honest, it feels a little feels a little bit weird. I think we'll leave the window off for this one. And I might get rid of the transparent doors, good. And I might come back and repaint some of these as well. So let me have a look. We need uh, sinks. Um, duh, maybe a couple here as well. Uh, mirrors, maybe this side. Everyone can check themselves out, make sure they look nice before going back to work. A hand dryer would be very important. A couple of those in. And a bin. Yeah, and of course, I think they're going to need some way to get in here. So a door about there seems to make sense. All right, so that one's done. The doctor's offices are a little bit more complex. As you can see, we do require a bunch of stuff to make the doctor's office work. There's lots of optional things as well, but the basic one is we... Oh, exam table won't be accessible there. Okay, I've got to make sure it's accessible. So we're going to put that there, and I think we're going to do the same for all of them. Do we have enough cash? That's Yes, we still have enough cash, which is good. So that's the third office over there. We then need to place, um, where is it, a light over each uh, examination table. That's all three of them. A square table at the end is very helpful. Oops. Why don't you like the table there? Ah, there we go. It was like it had a little drawer that was poking in the wrong way. So audiometer. No, CPR scan, maybe. I think we're just going to put this equipment on all of these tables. A disinfectant station we will place by the doors. Or where the door's going to be. And likewise, I think we'll put a little biohazard uh, rubbish bin underneath. That'll remind everyone of their duties. So an equipment cabinet... Um, probably a good idea as well for the doctors to use. Just get it there. Uh, I will remember to put on a door now. I think before we go too far. And is it going to be there? I think it's going to be there. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. Whew, so these are coming along okay. Uh, I can probably put the eye test next to the door, which seems to make sense. Yep, IT is very important. They are going to need a office, an office desk, because uh, that's kind of how room people are assigned to rooms, or it's how doctors are assigned to rooms or workers. They need to have somewhere to sit and do their work uh, when they're not attending a patient. So um, obviously, you know, office desk and a computer and bits and bobs are really important for that. So we'll get these computers and this is a beautifully appointed office. I think you, you have to admit they will need a printer so they can print out their rulings, their justice sort of decisions, something like that anyway, isn't it? Audiometers next and hmm, did I need a sink? Did I? No, I think we're okay. We don't need a sink for these rooms. I wouldn't mind which way around is that it, it, uh, i think another desk would be a good idea because we're going to put the audio testing equipment on it uh okay you can be that way around fine okay i think these i think these rooms are pretty good um we could now we could add other stuff in them but i'm a bit conscious that we've already spent quite a lot of money and these are fairly small Privacy screen, wall-mounted cabinet. 
decoration, basically. Some of these are just decorations. They're not going to help them do their jobs. Mm. Would that be helpful? It sort of just hovers around the room uncomfortably, doesn't it? I, I don't know. It gets in the way. So I don't know if we need that. So I think we'll just leave those. The next one is we will need a door over here for the janitor's office. And that's a pretty simple one. The janitor needs supplies and the janitor needs a push cart or two. Um, I think I can just put them like that. And the janitor, pro I think we're about all with that. I think the janitor probably needs like a trash bin. Uh, can we put that there without getting in the way? Nope, that seems fine. It doesn't, it's not complaining. So I'm assuming that's okay. Doors here, we need to uh, stick something in here for the, for the lab. So, hmm, what are we gonna look at? So some of these need desks and office desks. So we need, a, I think we're gonna need a, a lab desk for sure. And I might go for a couple of them. And on these, we need things like glassware, hematology analyzer. We'll stick a lab shelf in between it. We'll put a lab sink over here, a medical centrifuge can sit next to it, microscope, uh, PC. Yeah, I still can go there. We still need more stuff. So clearly uh, more lab benches are required and, oh wow, mandatory piece of equipment. Um, I don't know what you are, but you have to be in there. A lab analyzer, a stool analyzer, really? Equipment table, um, a stool analyzer. Uh, I feel like we're very low on, like we're very low on stuff at this point. Um, I think that's blocking. It's still missing equipment. Hmm, that's kind of disappointing. Uh, we will put this staff room door in as well. So how big does a staff room have to be? That's what I'm worried about. So four by four, one, two, three, four. I wonder if we need to expand this place a little bit, but we'll just check the staff room. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, a staff room. I think a couple of sofas, a bookcase, a like, I don't know. I think a coffee table is not so great. A cabinet with doors. There's no corner cabinet, which is a bit of a shame. And a cabinet with drawers. And then we can lay out some stuff. So we can put a um, kitchen sink in. We can put, oh, they need a locker as well to get changed. We can fit a coffee machine. And not such a big deal anymore. The TV would be nice. Yeah, I suppose. Um, fridge. I don't think I'm that generous. Okay, so our place is relatively well equipped. Uh, stat lab. Hmm. It's just the equipment that we're short on here. And I don't. I might just have to tear down walls and expand it, which I think I will do in a minute. We need to hire some. Well, hmm, I think we actually need to do that now. So can I build foundations out that way and then do the walls? So I'm just gonna try like that. And I wanna get rid of all the walls. Okay, cool. And then we'll lay down some floor. And we're almost, well, if it hadn't sort of forgotten about the um, about these walls. Okay, just take out all that stuff. Fair enough. All right, cool. So now we're back to walls. 
Alright, so this lab's going to be a little bigger than I thought it needed to be. I think actually it, it should probably be a bit be a bit bigger in the room description. I don't quite know how I'd get everything in. So uh, stat lab joint, make it bigger. And now let's fit in all the remaining equipment that we need. So lab desks can just go. Yeah, one, two. I uh, can't put that in that corner. So we have the hematology, the glassware, the microscope, the lab shelf. Uh, and then we can get another lab desk. Uh, can we just put that in the middle? I think we can. We need that thermal cycler. And yes, we need that. We've got the workplace already. Sample storage. Uh, it's a, oh, no, we can put that there. It's not too terrible. Paper holder. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I think the printer is better. And I think the last thing was we definitely need like a stool. There we go. Phew. Okay, so that, this is basically set. And now what we do is we hire staff. So let me have a look here. Go to management. And we need certain numbers of staff. So we need during the day a doctor. And we're going to try and hire three. So here I can see the doctor hiring panel and I can learn a bit about them. They've also got a secret hidden, a hidden trait. I actually, an attending, I don't need a specialist. I just need a doctor. So what's this one? Long commute. Oh, I'm going to do their hidden traits. Depressed. Um, no, I want new stuff. Let's see their hidden traits again. We'll get the HR team to go and figure them out. Hedonist and pleasant. A fellow, acute medicine diagnosis, advanced diagnosis. She, this one, she seems all right. So what we do is we just, um, oh, we find a spot in the room. Okay, so now she's working in that one. This is day shift, by the way. And we have, what have we got here? No hidden traits, uh, loyal, practical diagnosis. Her skills are really terrible, actually. Intern, attending, acute medicine diagnosis, loyal, hedonist, night owl. Okay, that seems fine. And one more. This guy's stormy or depressed, which is no good. And well, unpleasant. That seems terrible. Specialist in acute medicine and advanced diagnosis. Uh, this guy seems pretty good. A specialist might be quite good. Okay. All right, good. So we've got them. We need nurse. Well, we need janitors. That's very easy. We can put one here. Uh, dexterity and efficiency, 238. Efficiency, dexterity, two hidden traits, one hidden trait. I think we'll just go with this one. Yep, she's working there. Uh, lab tech over here. Cardiology, biochemistry. Actually, we're going to pay to unlock. Stormy, no. Fast, gamer. Resting is much faster. This lady, yes, stick her there. So now she's working there. And we need a couple of nurses to work here to work reception. So I need to look one for ones with the actual receptionist uh, trait. Medical surgery, don't need. Oh, we've got to keep recycling. Receptionist, 8%. You're kind of terrible. Fat, fast metabolism. Uh, you need breaks more, but that's okay. We'll grab you this there uh, and one more mm. yeah why not uh, in the room get 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 in the room okay cool so that's the day shift uh let's see if this works so they're all chucking around and i'll just speed things up a little bit where, where are you going are you just going home Oh, no, janitor. Are we needed only one janitor? There's no cleaning to be done? I'm not sure. Okay, so I think we've got our first patient. So this is kind of where we get the, the whole way the patient system works. So right now, I can take control of this patient. And they're going to go in and get an examination. And so they're going to present... I'm just going to slow things down. They're going to present symptoms. So malaise and fever. And right now, they're having an interview. Oh, they're also fatigued. There's more hidden symptoms. So we're going to do... I think we'll do a... An interview. While well, we're doing the interview, we'll do a physical examination. 
So let's have a little look, see. Yes, you can hear them nattering away. Nature's all congestion, sneezing, fever, malaise, fatigue, sore throat. It sounds like you've got a cold. Go home and, like, harden up. We can do, like, a temperature measurement. Serological sampling. I don't think that's required. I think it's going to be pretty obvious. Pretty soon what we'll get is a influenza. All right, got the, got the flu. So possible diagnosis, it's 100% influenza. So let's just... Yep, so you've got influenza. And give him... I don't know, give him antivirals and go have some rest and then like get out of our hospital. You're just blocking the place up. At least you're going to pay us some money. This one here. So we can let this one just be controlled by the doctor and you can see the process happen that way as well. So I'm pleased we got three doctors. This is going to work okay. So yes, right, go take pills and get out of here. Never come back. All right, so it's going home. And this one here, procedures are finished for a diagnosed pace, patient. Uh, just log. The last one was rest. Is waiting for another plan or send them home. Oh, because we're under control. Go home. Insurance company can be contracted. Yay, cheapo care can be contracted. Uh, the joys of the American health system. Okay, we've got stat lab. And we just got uninsured people just wandering in off the streets. Okay, good. Now, this lady is being looked after by our people and there's all these possible uh, ideas i think i can add a little bit extra to this nasal congestion headache so she's being tr wow look she's going to have just an absolute ton of work done by the doctor to check her out and eventually we'll settle on a final diagnosis third one's in here and our lab tech is just typing at the wall the lab tech is the gamer i think isn't it so she's just practicing some redemption too or something crazy like that Okay, more people coming through. I don't know if this reception's actually working fine. Like, people aren't going in here to annoy them. No clear diagnosis. Um, oh, available examination. So we can't do these yet. So we don't really know. Send them to another hospital, really, is what we can do. So we've got tenderness. So look, these are all the possible issues they have. Redness, tenderness, swelling. They could have, what, a broken arm? And we can't, we have no idea what to do with them. So I think we are just going to have to send them to another hospital. Uh, can build a higher level. Yes, yes. Oh, goody, goody. So we did, we did actually do the job that the, the insurance company wanted us to do. And as you can see, we don't, our hospital's kind of small, so we don't have, you know, we don't know much yet. We don't have much uh, money. We could probably get a bit more. So what is it saying here? Treated patients. Uh... So we can see, oh, well, here's all the things. Hazard, medium, low, department was emergency. So these are all issues they've got. So really the next thing I could do is build more wards. So this has been like the start of the, um, the start of the clinic. So we've got a clinic going. Hospitalization is what we can get next. And that would, oh, that's under there, I guess. That would give us uh, places to put people for, for longer periods of time, wards and all of that. And then I can also start laying out like a radiology department, an intensive care unit, and all of these other uh, departments, which is pretty good, and build, you know, like a massive hospital system. But this episode is already getting quite late, how long, and it is quite late where I am. If you would like to see some of that, if you would like to see me decorate the place a little better as well, then... Uh, what is a brain thing? Okay, go away. Go away, brain thing. So if you would like to see that, then please let me know in the comments below and I will play some more because uh, I need you guys to watch these for me to, me to do the time on them, really. And uh, yeah, that's probably about enough from me. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to the developers over at Oxymoron Games for, for chucking me a key. Do you like a good base builder and simulation game? And I hope you will uh, come again soon. Until next time, I've been Tony Pirate. Thanks for watching. Good night. <laughs>